Uh, hi guys, in this video we are going to see how to add a beneficiary as well as how to uh, remove the beneficiary from your Bank of Baroda or banking account. Okay? Uh, if you like this video and want to uh, get more updates like this video, please hit the like button as well as subscribe button. Okay, let's go into a topic. Uh, go into a uh, banking account. Okay? Uh, the, the, the banking. Okay. Uh, see here you can observe it. Sometimes that is from some sign on password. In some cases, it lost uh, questions actually, uh, security questions. The reason is if you log in into somewhere else uh, location uh, PC as well as after that if you locate it to some other location. Uh, for security purpose, it will ask the security questions also, two or three security questions, whatever you have in the uh, cannot sign up. Okay, that is the one way of, uh, one more layer of protection given by that number one in banking. Now you have a dashboard that is home page is coming there. So go to the transfer and transfer page. Okay. Here you can see various options. If you want to transfer fund to uh, another Bank of Baroda account, that means in your branch as well as any other branch, another Bank of Baroda account branch, go to the third party transfer. Here you can add a new uh, beneficiary and by doing register new beneficiary. First, I will show you how to delete the beneficiary, then I will show you how to add the beneficiary. Okay. So, to delete the beneficiary, uh, here the delete option is available. Right. Just click the cross mark. This is a confirmation you want to really read this beneficiary. Click the delete means it will come. And click here. That's it. Out of two beneficiary, now only one beneficiary is there. Okay. So, under here, it will say Newly, here a note session. You can register maximum three beneficiaries, beneficiaries in a day. Okay, so the same way after add the new beneficiary, it will be activated for after four hours of successful registration confirmation. So, these are the points you should note. Okay, so now I'm going to add a beneficiary. I have shown right now how we can remove the uh, beneficiary, unwanted beneficiary, or the not so used beneficiary. Now I am going to add open how to add a new beneficiary. Click the register new beneficiary. See this is a nickname. This is for only for purely for your purpose only. Okay. It is uh, not for uh, any other it's not actual uh, account holder's name. Okay, it's for your purpose. And uh, you can add the beneficiary account number. This you have to take much careful actually. You have to enter very carefully. The transaction is happening based on this details of your account number. Okay? So you can check after entering the beneficiary, you can check the details. Also. You can verify that account name, the account holder's name. Okay? And once you verify, you can click the continue button. Here you saw some confirmation details. This is the account number, and this is a, your nickname for beneficiary, and which branch of this one is coming here. See, and you can uh, double check your. Uh, Beneficiary account number. Okay, so here you will get a tracker ID for every beneficiary you are adding. You will get one tracker ID. If you have uh, two, three beneficiaries, two, three tracker IDs. So this OTP nothing. You can get it in your mobile phone. Okay, I am going to click the continue button. See, click the beneficiary name for confirmation. Here it is, and uh, I am going to click the nickname. You. Here it's asking the tracker ID. I got a OTP. I am going to enter the the OTP only here is saying the tracker ID. Okay. Okay. And I click the select. The beneficiary uh, details are displayed here. Either you can uh, approve or that if you find some discrepancies are here. So I am going to approve this. 
not with the source frame. But you can see here, it's not coming as a link, right? Because after 4 hours only, after 4 hours of successful registration confirmation only, we can transfer that. So after 4 hours only, it will appear that way. But the second benefit is right? Okay. That's the way we can add a third party beneficiary. That means another bank of Barana control that as a beneficiary. Now, uh, go back into funds transfer. So, if you want to transfer money to non bank of other accounts, that means any other bank like ASBI or uh, any Indian bank, any other bank, if you want to transfer money, you, know, you are going to select the left or uh, any FD or RPG account. Right? So, this link you want to click with non BOB accounts transfer. Here, you go to the register next like new beneficiary. You look at this page, right? So here, beneficiary name, you write it, and uh, let the IFSC code, and uh, see here also, the same thing we are mentioning, beneficiary name may not be used here in uh, highlighted in book level, right? See, please know that credit, the receiving bank may be affected basically solely on account number. Here, beneficiary account number is there, and every other account number. First time when you are entering the account number, you here as well as here. In some uh, banks, it will be shown as a dark zone number. So, enter two times uh, the beneficiary account number here. And uh, enter the beneficiary name as it is the passport. The passport. And next, uh, uh, IFSC code also, it will be there. You can see the IFSC code, even in checkbook also, it will mention IFSC code. Or in their passport, when you page, it will clearly mention that branch IFSC code. You have to enter the kind of the sequel. You can double check by clicking at the uh, details. Any of the other school or PGS and other Okay. Here, one more details they can do. Okay, these are the details. And the kit continues the same process compared to the previous one. Other than that, right? uh, you'll get one more tracker ID. You have to enter the tracker ID. Uh, and clicking that uh, entering flat ID and uh, submitting that one, it can be confirmed, it can be activated. So this is the way you have to add the non uh, that means, uh, other banks account uh, as a beneficiary. And you can delete the same way. I mean. Here it means if you want to delete any beneficiary, you click the delete uh, cross mark here. And if you click delete, means it will be deleted. This beneficiary will be deleted from your uh, list of beneficiary uh, Thanks for watching this video, guys, and uh, uh, take care. Bye bye.